Hello everyone, I'm Stacy from Dies to Die For. Welcome back to another card making video. I haven't made a video in a little while because we've been busy with shows and stuff, but I wanted, I got this brand new, let me turn this off a minute, this brand new um, glow mat that I wanted to try out and see how, how it affected your ability to see cards I'm making. So we're just going to turn it on low. I'm going to make a quick video to see how this, this new glow mat and this new glass mat from Cutter Pillar work. Today we're going to make this Miss You card. I made this for the last show that we went to in Novi, Michigan, and everybody seemed to love this card. It's super simple, so I want to show you how to make it. Let me get all my pieces. I'm going to start with my A2 card base that I inked with the Simon Hurley Remember Me ink already. Then I took our card edge borders. Here's our card edge borders. And for these, I took another A2 piece and just laid this down on it, ran it through my machine. Then once it came out, I like to add the stitching to my notebook edges. So I add, added the stitch part, ran it through again. And that's what you get there. And usually when I cut these out, I end up throwing this piece away, but when I was making this card, I kind of threw it down like that, and I thought, oh, that, that's a cool idea. So that's what we're going to go with. Let me... <laughs> Darn it. I forgot the glue again. Hold on. There we go. We're going to get these two pieces glued down. And what I want to do is kind of make it look like a, a page is being ripped out of a notebook. So let's glue this piece first. Sorry, probably off camera doing that. So you don't, you can put it straight up and down if you want, but that's not the look I'm going for. I'm gonna just put it on an angle right there. See, just a slight angle. Then you take your scissors or cutter, however you wanna trim it. Trim that piece off. And I'm going to try to line this up kind of like that. And this piece is a little bit wider than the piece I used on the original card, so it's going to cover all the way. On the original card, I cut it a little skinnier. You can see that. Oh, and then these pieces I also I cut out in white and inked around the edge in the Simon Hurley Remember me? Get some glue on these. Start the bottom out like it's still in the notebook. Just like that. And this is going to be a, a Miss You card. The A2, or the slimline card that we're going to make, I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to do, try to make it into a thank you card. A end of the year teacher's thank you card. Let's get our Miss You word glued down. And my kids are already home for the summer, so they're currently playing outside. If somebody barges in and is being very loud, I'm sorry. I always give them warning before I'm doing videos, but that doesn't keep them outside. I'm gonna cut this piece off now too. And these are popped up a little. You can go back and glue those down if you want. Then I'm going to take our baby's breath. Let me grab that quick. The baby's breath. And I'm going to use this. I think on the slimline card, I also cut it up. Cutted. 
I also cut a few pieces of the baby's breath from the Betty Manning rose dye because it's just a little bit of a different size. I wanted a little variety. Now for the baby's breath, I just took my green ink pad and I inked the stem green and added a little green up in here. I wasn't perfect about it, but I think it looks kind of cool. I'm going to take, I think two of those is sufficient with one of the littler pieces. Like so. And then the bow that we're going to use is from our mistletoe die. And just ink that with the Simon Hurley Remember Me ink. And here comes one of those children that I was telling you about. Just gonna make a little bouquet with baby's breath. I chose the baby's breath because I think that that makes it it's not too too girly or too flowery so you could use this for a masculine card too. I think anyway. That's the way I feel about it. What do you think Lex? It's just good. Just like that. This is a really simple card to do. That looks nice. Put our little bow on there just like that. And there is our Miss You card. Now let's move on to the Slimline version. And the Slimline card I'm doing today, this is four inches by eight and a half. And then I did the same exact thing with the notebook and edge and the stitch line. But since I don't have a slim line, I use my A2. I just overlapped it a little and I wasn't sure if that was the look I wanted to go with. Because I don't, I'm not really fancy. You can see that little thing right there. Don't know if I want to do that, so I actually cut. A single one or a A2 size out too, thinking that maybe I could do something like this. And here comes another child. Okay. But for this one, since I was making it kind of a um, thank you card for a teacher, I want to use our backpack from our backpack die set. Here's our backpack die set. Or, is that, yeah, backpack and school items. That, wait, let me show you that again. Look at, there's all kinds of, there's cute little books and pencils, scissors you can build, eraser, glue bottle, a pen. And this right here, people always ask what that is. That's the zipper for the backpack. And you got your ruler. Okay. What I was thinking with this backpack was that... We can stick the baby's breath right inside. Still say, staying with kind of the same idea of making a bouquet out of it. Only inside the backpack. We could put our, actually, I think I want the smaller one down here. Should we put one inside that pocket? And I cut this backpack apart because I wanted to be able to ink it in different colors. And I just couldn't get that little backpack piece inked without cutting it off, or that little pocket piece. I do have another bow. Put that kind of right there, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, what do you think? Let's take the bigger or the medium sized baby's breath out of there and put it up here. I think it's too much for that little pocket. And maybe put a couple of 
these down here. Then when we put the bow there, or it probably doesn't even need the bow, honestly. Okay, my idea with this was kind of put that there, and then we're going to use the thank you word. Let me grab our thank you word. And I was thinking of putting that kind of up there somewhere. Now the decision is... We keep it two individual pieces, or do we go with the long one? I I kind of like the I kind of like it this way. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Okay, let's start gluing things down. You keep going off camera, I know that, but all I'm doing is gluing. You guys get the point, right? I think I want this one glued underneath, so should do that first. How is this glass mat working out in the, the light underneath? Is it easier for you guys to see my cards? Does it brighten everything up a little bit? Or is there too much of a glare? I would really like some feedback on that. If it works good, we'll continue to use it. If not, we'll go back to the original mat. And I'll just use this one when I'm not making a video because I I actually like using this glass mat. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see before I would drag out my clipboard to glue on and it just wasn't very pretty. Okay, glue this last piece, then I'm going to trim up around all of them. Okay, like that. Let's glue you down. Okay, let's grab the scissors now. Almost done. Flip it over. Oh, I like that. This looks like a couple of notebook pieces layered on top of each other. But now, since I have the slimline one cut, I'm going to have to find something else to do with that because I can't throw pieces away. I just can't. Let's get our baby's breath pieces glued inside of our backpack. That way they're aware they need to be. pieces in there. I'm going to glue those down and then glue the the brown piece right on top of them just to hold it in place for now until I get everything glued down. I actually even put this this brown piece here, this pocket piece on some pop tops. That would look kind of cool. I didn't, but you could. And then we're going to glue that there. And our little thank you right up here. Let's get the thank you glued down. Alright. 
can make it look like it's written right on that piece of paper. So you want to kind of follow the angle of that piece of paper. A little blue, but you can handle that. My glue tip's getting stuck on these baby breath, baby's breath. There we go. I'm going to put this on this angle. It's going to be going off the notebook piece, but that's okay. It's kind of like that. Now I still have this bow that I don't know what to do with. You do something like that. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. Because I just can't cut a bow out and not use it. So we'll add a little more to the top of this. And if you wanted to, you could put some jewels or gems on it. Or if you want to keep it a little more masculine, don't worry about it. There we go. I like it. Let's get our original. This one is the original. And the, oh, on the original, I, I thought I was done, but I, I went back around with my brown ink pad. You can see, I put some, a little bit of brown inking on it. Just to add some more character. And just like that. Let's get this one done. And I want a lot, I want the brown to be kind of heavy, so doing it as messy as I can. There, now we're officially done. Thank you for watching another card making video and don't forget to let me know what you think of the glow mat underneath. And these glow mats from Caterpillar we will have available on our website if you're interested. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.